located just off I-35, lies the capital city of the 46th state in the Union. That state, Oklahoma. And the city, well, that's none other than Oklahoma City. Nestled in the heart of a revamped downtown area, sits the focal point of the city's new entertainment district, Bricktown. Home of minor league baseball's Oklahoma Red Hawks. As the state capital of Oklahoma, Oklahoma City houses countless treasures. Yet perhaps no treasure stands out in city lore, like the memoriam honoring those lost at the Murrah Federal Building tragedy a decade ago. From that tragedy, the city has seen a rebirth, showing amazing versatility, especially in recent months. Take the Ford Center, for instance, which now plays host to an NBA franchise, the temporarily displaced New Orleans Hornets. Travel north of the downtown area only a few miles, and you'll find Putnam City North High School. The Panthers have a treasure of their own. He's star athlete Sam Bradford. He's the kind of young man everybody wants their son to be. He's the kind of young man everybody wants their daughter to marry. He's the kind of student we want in our academic classes. He's the kind of student all the coaches want on their athletic teams. Everything he does, he does well. And he does without any pretense. You know, he just goes, comes to class, does his work, goes on the field or the court, whatever he's playing, and just does a great job. And, uh, you know, people notice that. And so people are attracted to him because he's, he's good at everything he does. And yet, he's so modest about everything. You know, you'd never know it. You know, if he wasn't six foot five and, uh, you know, had the credentials he has, you wouldn't know he was a great athlete. He, he doesn't have any errors about him or anything. He just comes out and does what he's supposed to do. And, you know, he's, he's a coach's dream. He's a teacher's dream. Uh, he's, he's a great kid. He is as competitive in the classroom as he is out on the football field or the basketball court or the golf course. He is, he is competitive. But he's, he's very quiet in class. He doesn't have to be the star in the classroom, although he is the star in the classroom. He, is, he uh, usually makes the highest grades on my English tests, and they're usually not very easy. You always dream of having kids like Sam Bradford, and, and, and you're blessed to have great kids that come through Putman North, but uh, Sam's one of the exceptional kids, and uh, yeah, I'm glad to see him get the publicity. I think, as far as he's concerned, he just seemed to be over with, you know, and I think kids get to that point, but uh, the things that you guys are doing for high school kids and getting exposure and stuff for them, I think it's tremendous for these young kids, and, and Sam's the type of kid that he handles it very well. Uh, his buddies, I'm sure, give him a hard time about it, getting the business, but uh, he handles it very humbly, and he takes it for what it is, and, uh, and he's a tremendous athlete in this program. Today, Bradford's a standout quarterback on the football team. Yet this senior signal caller offers up much more when it comes to sports. He's played hockey. Uh, he, uh, he plays the cello, I believe. Uh, you know, he'll beat you at checkers. I mean, it's just, he's just a real competitor. And he's been pretty well hooked up in a lot of different sports and just been real competitive and real versatile. He's got a lot of things. It's whatever I'm playing. Like if I'm playing football, it's football. If I go play basketball, it's basketball. It's just whatever I'm doing. Back when he was real young, Sam had a ball drawer. And it was a drawer that just had balls, all types of balls. Small balls, big balls. And, and he would crawl in his drawer and empty them all out. Just start, you know, humming them around the room. And then he'd crawl out and he'd go around the room and start throwing them back in that drawer. <laughs> you know, so I thought, well, you yeah. know, hey, it's a good sign. He likes balls. And a beautiful touch pass from Bradford for six. Football, I think my strength is probably my, uh, just the mental aspect, being able to take everything in, being pretty smart, knowing where to throw, when to throw, when to run. Basketball would probably be uh, just my size and uh, ability to shoot the three. Like, I'm a pretty good shooter, so I think, you know, I can get a little mismatch, you know. Get a smaller guy, and then I can take him to the post if I need to, because I play the guard. Golf's probably just my distance. I think, I think that helps me the most, is I can hit it pretty far. Sam developed his talents playing all sports as a kid, but that skinny little kid with a great smile is all grown up now. And during this, his senior year, he's become the leader so many had envisioned. We kind of knew about Sam as he was coming up. And then when he got here as a freshman, it was he was he was just head and shoulders above most of the other kids. Literally, I mean, his height and his ability. And Sam really is a more of a not really a vocal leader, but more of a leader by example. And uh, 
When he steps in the huddle, he pretty well gets everybody's attention, and they know that he's a guy that can lead us to have some success, and they know that Sam's always going to compete regardless of how far we're behind or, or how far we're ahead. He has a God-given talent that is a natural ability, and uh, but it's not because he doesn't work, too. He doesn't, he doesn't, um, you, know, you never have a zero next to his name. He turns in every assignment. He's uh, always very punctual. It's always done the right way. And, uh, you know, part of that, yes, I'm sure, is just his uh, focusing on his abilities and things like that. But he's, he's definitely, I think, a lot of God given talent. I try to let all, like, my actions, like my playing, I try to let all that speak for me. Like, I'm not. Like, I mean, I don't think there's any need for me to, like, tell anyone how good I am. I think if they see me, then like, they'll know if I'm good or not. So, I mean, I just try to, you know, stay humble and just be thankful for everything that people say to me. I wish that he weren't so athletically gifted because I would want him to go on in Spanish all the way through AP Spanish. But seriously, everything he does, he does with ease. He's very modest about all of his accomplishments. He's very humble. He's easily embarrassed by any attention that is drawn to him. Um, and yet he, he's very diligent in everything he does. He's very attentive. He is, he's the perfect student. Walk the halls of Putnam City's North High and you'll never hear a negative word about Sam. It's a trait that's easy to explain as it all goes back to just how well he's been raised. He's been a great son. I mean, he's your typical teenager. I mean, he doesn't like to pick up his room and do the, you know, do his chores, but, you know, after a little nudging, he will get it done. But, you know, he's been a great kid. I, I, I can't complain at all. He's been very easy to raise. Haven't as a cause for any problem. I mean, every now and then, I'll just have to make something up to get mad at him for, you know, he, I gotta get mad at him about something, so, you know. But no, he's, he's, he's been a great, great kid. I've had it real easy. I've, you know, my parenting has been real simple. Look for Sam to follow in his dad's footsteps. Kent Bradford played on the offensive line for the Sooners of OU from 75 to 78. Sam committed to play quarterback for Bob Stoops' bunch beginning in the fall of 06. 